In algebra, you've dealt with x and y values. Oftentimes, they're written as ordered pairs, where in parentheses we have the x value and then the y value. So a relation is just you have a pairing of x and y. A function is a special type of relation, where every x can pair to only one y. You can't have x being 2 and y equaling 3, x being 2 and y being 6. It just doesn't work. Uh, and so that is the easiest way to decide is something a function or not. Does every x pair to only one y? So here is an example that I have for you. I have Seattle. Well, if I were to tell somebody, oh, I went and got to watch a professional game up in Seattle, they have multiple choices. So Seattle relates to the Hawks, and so we'll think of Seattle as our X value. X is also called our input. When we plug this value in, what do we get as a result? So this is, if this is X and these are Y, we'll say, oh, I went to Seattle for a game. Great. Well, which one? X paired to this Y, X paired to this Y, X paired to this Y. Each one of these pairings is a relation but it is not a function because you don't have a definitive answer when saying, I went to Seattle for a game. Now, on the other hand, again, now this cat here being X and this being Y, if I said, oh man, I got to go see the Hawks play on their home field, well, there's only one possible place you could have gone. The input of going to the Seahawks means you went to Seattle. No other option if it was a home game. Same thing, oh, I got to see Mariners play on their home field. Awesome. You must have gone to Seattle because there's no other home field for the Mariners. So these inputs of X create only one output for Y. X's can share a Y, but Y's can't share an X. Otherwise, this is just a relation. This is a function. Now, some terms that we want to be aware of with this are x is also called, show here, our domain. It is our input that when we have an equation, we plug in a value for x, solve it, and we get an answer. x does the controlling in function equations. It's also called the independent variable. It doesn't rely on anything else to have a value or make sense. It it goes along, it does its own thing, it's in control. Whereas y, which is called the range, it is the output or the answer in the equation. So when I plug in an x value, I solve it, I get an output, I get an answer, that is my y. It is also the dependent variable. It relies on some other input to have a value or make sense. So if we have, and this is written in function notation, the function of x, is also a way of just saying y equals 2x plus 3. So f of x and y mean the exact same thing. This is just in function notation so that anybody who sees it knows that the equation it's paired with is a function. So in this case, what I would do is plug in, I can make up any value I want for x. So say, I'm gonna go up to here, so my equation, where's my eraser, there we go. If I have the equation, the function of x is 2x plus 3. In order to find x and y solutions to this, I get to create a table of values and plug in my own set of x's. So if I have x and the function of x, which also just means y, I come up with values. You want to include both positive and negative, and go ahead and keep it small and simple. So I like to start with positive one. Well, if x is one, I plug in one for x, two times one plus three, well, two times one is two plus three, I get five as an answer. So my ordered pair is one and five. Then if I plugged in zero for x, well, two times zero is zero plus three, I get three as a result. If I plug in negative one, two times negative one is negative two, plus three, negative two plus three, leaves me with positive one. And I'm able to then take these values and plot them on 
a graph if I needed to, but the important thing is I have no other results. I can't plug in a one for X and get anything but five. That lets me know this is a function. I could have no other answer. If I could plug in a one and get a five and maybe a seven, not a function, that would be a relation. So this is really the foundation ideas to understand when it comes to functions. And then next we'll get into what's a linear function.